Cancer patients deal with financial and emotional challenges. An event called Hats for Hope is trying to make their lives easier. News Channel 3's Nia Wong spent the afternoon at the annual benefit. She joins us live from San Luis Obispo with more. Nia? Tracy, this year's benefit wrapped up a couple of hours ago here at the San Luis Obispo Country Club, but I was here earlier this afternoon, and let me tell you, I saw a packed crowd, which is a very good sign for a growing organization here on the Central Coast. Another hot day on the Central Coast, with lots of ladies donning their hats, not to beat the heat, but to battle for hope. This is a cancer patient. There are times when you're out in the community or you go, come to an event and you just want to blend in. Tosti would know. Doctors diagnosed her with triple negative breast cancer. And you don't want to be seen as somebody that's battling cancer. You just want to feel feminine and you want to feel beautiful. She was fitted with her first wig in June thanks to the Hats for Hope Foundation. I feel empowered and I feel beautiful because I, I get to be me today. A feeling of dignity the nonprofit strives to continue for people battling cancer by providing them with certificates for wigs. As a person is diagnosed with cancer, they are given a certificate to go get a wig without regard to income, insurance, or anything else. With every ticket bought to support the cause, attendees enjoyed live music and a live auction. Every penny that is raised goes directly to the program. Miranda describes this year's efforts as epic, kicking off with the launch of a new program. We are gifting four current cancer patients in financial need $2,500 each. Starting in 2001, Hats for Hope initially provided wig certificates for those in the Santa Maria Valley. So now we give wigs and head coverings to cancer patients from San Inez all the way up to Paso Robles. Organizers say they're meeting a growing need thanks to growing support from the community. If you're interested in one of those grants, you can find the application at hatsforhope.com. The applications are due by November 30th, but also if you missed today's benefit, there are many other ways to help out, and you can find more information on that same website. Live in San Luis Obispo, Nia Wong, News Channel 3. The hats and wigs look great. Thanks, Nia. We'll be right back.